Praise the Lord today. Hallelujah, saints. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for this wonderful day. We got a nice rain last night. and Boy, we really needed the rain. Like We do need the rain, but it makes the grass grow. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. God is so good. He's so just loving, merciful, kind to his children. And sometimes pretty stern. Sometimes pretty stern with us. Hallelujah. He says he sends the rain to confirm his inheritance. Hallelujah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's not only the physical rain, but it's the yes. Holy Ghost rain. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you today for this word for today that you're giving, Lord, for your people and for those you're calling in to the fold. Oh, our Father. We ask you today to penetrate hearts and to open hearts today, Father. Open the eyes for people can see, Lord. Remove what's blinding people from seeing that Christ Jesus is the salvation that you have provided, Father. Your Son is the salvation. Your Son is the King of glory. Hallelujah. And oh, God, we ask you today, Lord, that you will just so penetrate hearts with this word. And those that are saved and filled with your spirit, Lord, that you would increase in all of us, oh, God, the outpouring, the, the infilling and the flowing out of your life, oh, God. Help us all, Lord. Teach us more about surrender today. Teach us about everything we need to see, Lord, for this day as we're walking with you and loving you and praising you standing side by side one with another, Lord, lifting up holy hands unto you, hallelujah, and worshiping you today, keeping our focus on you, O oh God. O oh Lord, let us remember the simplicity in Christ, hallelujah, and let us not deviate to the right or to the left. In Jesus' name, I pray. And also, Father, I ask you right now that you destroy the works of darkness, the works of the devil, any kind of thing the devil tries to do to hinder your word from taking root in hearts of people, in our hearts and in others, Lord, that you would just crush his work today, throw it down and trample down the devil under our feet in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to begin today in John 10. We were praying just before the broadcast and the Holy Spirit said to go to John 10 because this needs to be reiterated for those who are saved and those who are not saved because those who are not saved today, but they feel a call, you know, they feel a little tug. They, they've they heard the Christian message before, but they're, they just need something else to bring them on in. A further step. A further step, mm -hmm. a, uh, maybe a further confirmation from the Lord. And I believe the Holy Spirit wants to give that confirmation today. Maybe you're listening to this and you're not fully committed to the Lord or you haven't taken that final step in repentance in belief, okay, I urge you to do that. We both, er, Sharon and I, we urge you to come in to Christ because Jesus Christ, the King of glory, is coming back. And when he comes back, this world is going to be destroyed now. Mm -hmm. Up until that time, God is sending judgments. He's judging this world. But he's still got his hand out in mercy. That's right. He's at got, this point That's in time. right. The door of grace is mm -hmm. open. The hand of mercy is out there. Hallelujah. Also, those that are Christian, I believe the Lord is calling to more of an abandonment right. to him. Right. You know, it's like jumping off a mountain and you don't know what's going to happen. Right. Just total abandonment right. to the Lord and to his way and to his will. Just because he said, jump. That's right. That's right. Just jump. Jump out. Right. He says, follow me, and you're following him up the steep place, and then he jumps across, and, uh, and you're like, uh -huh. and he says, keep coming, see, praise the Lord. He says, I've given you hind's feet, I will give you hind's feet, he says. That's right, right, and you jump on the high places. What are hind's feet? They're like a deer. Right. A deer is very... Agile, yes. able to climb up steep And, and jump across ravines That's and stuff right. like That's that. That's right, amen, amen. And that's what the Lord does. <laughs> Hallelujah. Right here in John 10, it says, Verily, 
Verily I say unto you. Jesus is speaking. Hallelujah. He that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. And the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were, which he spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, that means truly, truly, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. Mm -hmm. Jesus says he's the door. Now many people want peace. They want salvation, but they're trying to get it another way. They're mm -hmm. trying to go the way of Eastern religions, or they're trying to go, you know, Hinduism, Buddhism, you know, they're trying to go the way of Zen, they're trying to go the New Age movement. They're, they use witchcraft, voodoo, shamanism, all these different ways. People are trying to get salvation, trying to get power. But Christ Jesus, the man who came down here, God the Father sent his son to this earth. He became a man. Okay. He walked the perfect life of self-denial, denying himself and taking up his cross every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was pure and holy. He died on the cross. He rose from the dead. Hallelujah. No one's risen from the dead but Jesus Christ, okay? Now, he raised people from the dead that were dead. He raised Lazarus. He was dead four days, okay? But there wasn't nobody there to lay hands on Jesus after he was dead, okay? He had a commandment from the Father to come out of the ground. Hallelujah. And he did come out of the ground. He rose from the dead. He's sitting at the right hand of the Father, and he said, <laughs> I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. And he said as well, you cannot be my disciple right. unless you take up your, your cross, cross and follow me. So those two things go together. Right, there. that's right. He's the door. That's right. But it's by way of the cross. That's right. Amen. That's right. Praise God. If you don't got the cross then you don't have the true way. That's right. That's right. It's a denial of self. The Lord said, take up your cross, whatever cross that I have fashioned for you. Right. You take that up. You embrace it as he did. <coughs> Amen. And thank him for it. And follow him. Praise God. There's no other way. We can't do it any other way. And there's so many movements out there without the cross. the cross. It's all emotionalism, sensationalism, touchy feelism. It's the soul realm. It's the it's, soulish realm. Right, that's right. right. And sometimes the way of the cross, sometimes you don't feel anything. That's right. You feel like you're void of feelings. That's right. Like you're in a, a, a total uh, stepping out onto nothing. Right. Amen. But you're still walking the way of the cross. You know, Praise it's God. a way of belief, y'all. That's right. It's a way of faith. Belief Trusting and God. believing the Lord, walking his way, <coughs> following in his footsteps. Amen. He is the door. He is the way. What's That's a door? Right. You have to open up a door to go into yeah. a room or you whatever, go through don't you? the door. So there's no way you're going to get in without going through right. Jesus Christ. And that is by way of the cross. Right. And how do you get through that door? By repentance, by belief. Repentance. Hallelujah. Yes, that's a big See, thing. You and have this... a change of mind. You go the other way, 180 degrees. No longer for self, but for the glory of God. See? It's so important that we know the truth right. about things. Because there's so many movements out there that are not the truth. That are false. Right. That don't think you have to repent. That's right. You know. Just one time, and now you don't have to repent yeah, anymore. You don't have to repent. There's and no it's sin, like, and you know, it's, it's all grace. And... <laughs> it's important that we know the truth. It's important that we know the way. And the only way 
is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And the only way is by way of the cross. The Amen. only way right. is by way of denying ourselves. And then what happens? The Holy Ghost just keeps filling us and filling us as we die daily. He he keeps just bursting out of us more and more. Yes. Out of our bellies flow what? Mm -hmm. Rivers of living water. Hallelujah. And it, it's breakings. Hallelujah. There's many breakings in that process. But see, we can resist the breakings and stop things up like a drain. Right. Or we can submit to the breakings. Right. Amen. Even though it hurts, even though it's a crushing thing, maybe sometimes we submit. And as we submit, hey, we get freedom. Hallelujah. We get more free and more free. The Spirit of God moves freely. Like you said, the living water just right. flows That's out. Right. But hey, there's a cost to it as well. And that's denying yourself, your way. Your, but yeah, that's exactly. Right. That's right. Your ability to think and reason things out. Okay. I mean, you, saints, you might, you might have a, a an understanding in your 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 mind. You know, reasoning out situations and things and how to fix it, but it might not be God's ways. Mm -hmm. See, so that's why we have the mind of Christ. We do it His way. We deny ourselves. We take up our cross. We follow the Lord. And we do it daily. Hallelujah. And we go to him daily. with everything. And we say, you know, any kind of problem, any kind of trouble. And say, Lord, you see this. You know all about this. <coughs> what do you want me to do? Amen. Show me what you want me to do. Praise God. Give me understanding. Give me your strategies. Yes. Show yes. me how you would do this. How you want us to do this. Right. Or whatever. Amen. And how to will. combat this, Lord. How to yeah. combat that. Instead Praise of God. Uh, going out bull moose donkey mule type style right. and doing it yourself right your own way you think you know better than god mm -hmm. and Praise a lot of times that happens and what happens you fall flat flat, flat on your face that's right because that's it's right. not god's way of doing that's it that's right amen and it doesn't work amen so jesus here he says i say unto you verily verily i say unto you verse 7 john 10 i am the door of the sheep all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. See, maybe you're one of those. You're 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 hearing, you're you're studying Eastern religions, or you're studying this, or you're studying that, okay? But you're just not finding you're not really hearing that because it's not resonating with you. Because see, what it is is you're possibly very well could be one of those chosen ones from the foundation of the world and the Father, the Holy Spirit are drawing you to the Son, okay? And Jesus, all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them, see? You're not satisfied in all that. And then he says in verse 9, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Verse 10, the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Mm. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Amen. Now this is what Jesus wants to do today to many out there who are lost. He wants to give his life for them. See, again, in fresh and new. Hallelujah, even right now today. See, the work of the cross is effectual right now. Yes. The blood is living blood. Mm. Hallelujah, the Holy Ghost is alive. The Holy Ghost is God. And he brings the precious blood. And he washes away the sin. Gives you a new spirit. Hallelujah. Comes and dwells inside. So God wants you to know that today. Now we're going to go to Isaiah 26. I had to read that first to set this up. Because in Isaiah 26, we have here, a wonderful message of protection for God's people and also destruction for the wicked. Okay. Now you're hearing this today and you, maybe you're wicked and you don't love Jesus Christ. You just stumbled across this broadcast maybe. And you're, you're one of those who are anti Christ. You're, you're against Christ. You're instead of Christ, putting yourself instead of Christ. You're your own salvation, so to speak. Your own God. Right. Well, the Lord says that ain't going to work. Okay. God says to you, that's not going to work. You're going to find out one day it won't work. Okay. 
But the Lord wants you to know right now, the Lord wants you to know right now, listen to this, in Isaiah 26. Now, for those of us who are saved, we know this chapter very well, and we read it, but let's get, let's get some more out of it. Let's see what the Holy Spirit wants to show us today. Verse 1, In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. Oh, Judah means celebrate, praise, hallelujah. This song is going to be sung. We have a strong city. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Amen. Uh, who is that salvation? Him. Him. Jesus. Jesus is that salvation, see. He's that strong city. We have a strong city. Hallelujah. We talked a little while back, a couple weeks ago, about the city and how God's made us a defense city. And God says we are his city. Yeah, Hallelujah. He's, he's always See? saying, even when you're weak, he says you're strong. That's right. And But Jesus is the city. city. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's the city. The fortress. We are in Christ. Amen. <laughs> he's the fortress. <laughs> Open ye the gates that the righteous nation, which keepeth the truth, may enter in. Those who are saved keep the truth. Mm -hmm. They love the truth. Mm -hmm. Even when the truth Hurts. Jap slaps them right upside the head. They still love the truth. Yeah. And they thank God for giving them that truth. See, that's a true sign that you're saved. You love the truth. Mm -hmm. And you, you know it. Hallelujah. And someone comes up to you and speaks a word to you. And your flesh starts to rise up. But the spirit in you, the spirit man in you, your ho the Holy Spirit living inside of you, says no to the flesh. See, you put down the flesh. You agree with that word that was spoken because it was the truth. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I love to see that. Oh, you speak praise the truth God. to somebody. And even though you can see on their face, they're being totally convicted. And just the piercing of the sword of truth is going mm -hmm. in. Still, I love to see when people say, you're right. That's right. Amen. That's right. I receive that word. I receive that word, and then they repent. Right, and say, Lord, I'm sorry. Oh, what life, what flowing of the yeah. river, you know? The Lord says, you go in and out. Well, to me, that says if he's going in and out, people are going in and out of that, that means they have a confidence of the protection of God, one thing, and rest, number two. Oh, that's good. You know? That's good, yeah. And so that's awesome to me because God... He protects his people. Right. But there's a rest involved with it too. Amen. And we're confident that we can go in and out of that pasture because God's with us. Mm -hmm. He's protecting us. Praise we the We have Lord. total rest and total peace. Praise Going the in Lord. and out. Amen. And then you said total peace. It says here in verse 3, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace. Oh, awesome. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. Whose mind is stayed on thee. There you go. The key. Because he trusteth in thee. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. We've got to remember this now. Because why? Because he trusts Our mind stayed on him. Because why? <laughs> because we trust him. <laughs> because we trust him. Hallelujah. You know, that's such the key, isn't it? You're trying to trick me. <laughs> no. I, I just wanted it repeated because we need to uh, really get that. That's right. Amen. We really need to get that. That's right. Our Amen. <laughs> we do. And you know what? When you say stuff and you say it right. like three times, you're, right. you're like, yeah, that's I, right. I get that deal. That's right. Trusting you know him. Yeah. yeah. Instead of rusting. Right. We trust. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hallelujah. If you don't trust, you rust. Okay. You know what? When things rest, what happens? Corrosion. People aren't taking Breaking care. Down. It's not strong anymore. Of something. Right. So it rests. So if we just don't take care of our walk with the Lord. Maintenance it. Maintenance, Hallelujah. so to speak. That's and good. the things that we need to maintain. That's good. Tain, Amen. Such as the word and prayer and whatever. Right. Then... Everything just seems like it's just not alive anymore. Right. It's just like same old, same old. Like an artificial plant. Yeah. And it's <laughs> like, I, I can't say that our life is same old, same old. It's not. I can't say that. That's because good. every day is it's different. different. <laughs> every day is God has something, whatever. Something comes along that you go, wow. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, see, the Lord wants this living thing in our life. Right. The living, Holy Ghost. Living, living, Yeah, he wants living. the expression flowing out in life. Freedom. Right, right. Amen. No blocks. Amen. No block ups. That's right. Okay, praise the Lord. Verse 4. Trust ye in the Lord forever. For in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Okay. Doesn't end. You have everlasting strength. He says, I don't give you more than you can bear, but with it I make a way of escape. Read that again. He said, okay. Read it again. Trust ye in the Lord forever. For in the Lord Jehovah. The word Lord there is Yah. Jehovah is everlasting strength. Amen. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high. Ooh. The lofty city. The lofty city. See, humble cities, we're the city. Okay. He's made us a defense city. Humble. Humility. That's the first step in the temple of truth. Humility. Yes, bow okay. down. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first step. That's us. Those who are saved. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high. The lofty city. Those in pride and mm -hmm. arrogance, they don't need a savior. They're their own savior. Okay. They the wicked of this world, the money men, all this stuff. Okay. The lofty city, he layeth it low. Ooh. He bring, he layeth it low, says it twice. Even to the ground. He bringeth it even to the dust. Whoa. Okay. Mm. So you see, up to verse 1 through 4, he's talking about his people we're the city. Hallelujah. Christ is the, the big city. Okay. And we're all in Christ. We're little defense cities in Christ. Hallelujah. We're side by side, submitting one to another in the fear of God. And then in verse five, he talks about them that are dwelling on high. He's talking about destruction now for those who are rejecting Christ. Now we started out this broadcast with a call. Okay. You come to Christ today more fully than ever before. We're going to. We're going to come into Christ more fully than ever before. We're going to examine. We're going to say, Lord, examine our hearts today. See if there be any wicked way in us. Lead us in the way everlasting. We want that river to flow through us more and more. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. We want to be obedient to God. And the Holy Spirit's been checking us up about, you know, you got to check up. You got to say, Holy Spirit, give me a checkup. Hallelujah. People go to the doctor to get a checkup, right? We need to go to the Holy Ghost and say, give me a checkup the today. The doctor. Right, the doctor, the main <laughs> man. Hallelujah. Give me a checkup, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes the Holy Spirit will say, I mean, he, he does it in my life. The Holy Spirit says, you stop thinking like that. Stop that. You see? Stop thinking like that. Because, see, out of our mouth comes what we're thinking, don't it? Yeah. See? The Holy Spirit says, stop it. Oh, okay, Holy Spirit. That's right. See? That's what we say. We say, that's right, Holy Spirit. Agree with him. Agree with the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit. Amen. It says here, let me read verse 5 again. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high. The lofty city, he layeth it low. He layeth it low even to the ground. He bringeth it even to the dust. Now listen, saints. We're in a time where we know tribulation is all around. We know the world's exploding, right? We know this, this is happening. God's judgments are being poured out upon the earth. It says here in verse 6, the foot, the foot, the foot, let me pronounce that right, shall tread it down, even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. Mm. Treading down, okay, the dust, those dwelling on high. Verse 7, the way of the just is uprightness. Amen. Thou most upright. Dost weigh the path of the just. Ooh. God weighs our path. That's like a judgment. Yeah. He's, he's judging it. He's Yes, he is yeah. judging it. Yeah. He's discerning. You're weighing it. That means you're judging it. Mm -hmm. Yea, verse 8, in the way of thy judgments, O Lord, have we waited for thee. In the way of thy judgments, O Lord. Hallelujah. In the way of thy judgments, O Lord, have we waited for thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Let me read that again. Yea, in the way of thy judgments, O Lord, have we waited for thee. 
the desire of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. We want to be thinking about God the all the time. The desire of our soul is to thy name, mm. to thy character. We desire, amen. We desire to have that. Right. That amen, 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 amen. Amen. Verse 9, with my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Mm -mm. Let favor be showed to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness, he will deal unjustly wow. and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Mm -hmm. See, the wicked in the land of uprightness, he deals unjustly. And when you're walking, you are the land of uprightness. We're the land of uprightness. We're walking with the Lord, see? We're made out of earth. We're walking with the Lord. And the wicked, they treat us wrong, don't they? Just, Many of the wicked treat us wrong, especially mostly in religious circles. You'll find that. Yeah. That's what amazing. we have found, mm -hmm. okay? I mean, we've seen outright heathen treat us better than some of the people who profess the name of Jesus. Well, I'm sure lots listening can testify to that yeah, too. Amen. Yeah, as well. Amen. Look at this, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, verse 11. When thy hand is lifted up, they will not see. But they shall see. Mm -mm. And be ashamed for their envy at the people. Yea, the fire of thine enemies shall devour them. Wow. See, all this stuff we see going on, it the devil does. I, you know, one thing I've learned over the years is that the enemy, he always does things. It's like he's got this big shotgun. And, every, and he's got it loaded, man, with a big old magnum 12-gauge shell. Here's the enemy, okay? And he's, he's taking aim. And everything he's doing to prepare to destroy one of us, it's like he's packing the end of that shotgun barrel with <laughs> lead or he's filling it up with mud or he's, you know, packing in some, some rock hard, you know, putty in there. He's just kind of filling it in. And then he thinks he's got it and he pulls the trigger and bam, you know, Backfire. he backfires, mm -hmm. see? And, and, it, and it does. I mean, all this stuff you see happening in this world, it's just like, they're, they've got all these uh, weapons of war that create all this fire. Well, the Bible says that uh, God's going to burn up all the elements. It's like God says, okay, I'll use all that fuel. You know, it'll save me a little time, you know, because <laughs> God has fire. He can rain fire and brimstone out of heaven like he did on Sodom and Gomorrah. He don't need to use man's inventions. And I, I believe he's not going to use man's inventions. But my point is everything backfires on him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Backfires on him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because it says, The fire of thine enemy shall devour them. be interesting to see what fire means on that one. Praise God. Let me look it up. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's like poor. Let me see what verse is that. Verse 11. Hallelujah. Praise God. The fire of thine enemies. Esh. Fire, literally or figuratively, burning, fiery, fire, flaming, hot. Well, it says, yeah, literally or figuratively. So, you know, a lot of times when people get angry, they're angry at you, you know, because there's a hostility right. against God. Against God, right. And you're representing the Lord, so there's hostility towards you. Right. You know, there's hostility. That's like a fire. Uh, toward the... The hypocrite uh, <coughs> gets that fire against one that's walking mm -hmm. correctly and rightly. They that's get right. that hostility, right. that strife, that hostility toward them. And it, it pretty much identifies <coughs> them when they do that. That's right. As a hypocrite. That's right. Praise yeah. God. So it's like... You know, when you're speaking truth to someone, if they have the true spirit of God, it's going to bear witness Hallelujah. in their spirit. That's right. And sometimes it does bear witness, but they don't respond because of their friends. They don't want to lose friends over here. 
See, and I've seen it, man. Boy, I tell you, the Lord is really putting his finger on that deal. I know. Because he's saying, hey, who do you love more? Me or your friends? Right. Me or your children? Right. Me or, or your mother or father? Who do you love more? Right. Well, we're going to show the Lord who we love more by our actions. That's right. That's right. You know? And, you know, a lot of times when you know people in the faith saints and they're going the wrong way, they're going another direction than the gospel, the true gospel. They've got another gospel. You know, the best thing that can happen is you, you tell them the truth and then if they don't receive it, you just separate yourself from them because that will hopefully draw them back into well, the true the way. Says. I know, I know. The word says to do that. I know. And, you know... Why beat a dead horse I into the ground? I mean, when you tell someone the truth and they know what you're saying is mm -hmm. right, but right. here that hostility comes, hey, it began in the garden. That's the right. Lord put it there mm -hmm. between the true seed and the false seed. That's right. Okay? That's right. Well, there was a point where, you know, we were false seed mm -hmm. and God change that right true seed. Yeah, saved us, he yeah, saved saved us right. into right. the true seed that's right. That's right. so once you become a true seed <laughs> you have the true spirit of god in you hallelujah praise the lord you you know yeah sometimes we might rebel or whatever but we're going to come around <laughs> the right. true seed is going to come back that's around right. Right. to the truth god's going to come in with Accepting. his plow and he's going to plow up that ground and make you understand yes, you've been he is. plowed like a Yes, he is. Yes, he will, right. too. And God does that. It's just so important. You know, I was just, before the broadcast, I was just, uh, had a weeping in my spirit because I was just thinking of, you know, all the people we've been around and stuff. And, and you know, a lot of them, some of them are deceived mm -hmm. and they don't even realize the depth of deception they're in. Right. And it's all because they refuse to receive the truth at one time or another. And so then they begin to walk in darkness. Because that's what happens. Whenever you are spoken the right, truth to right, and you right, refuse right, it, right. you reject it, you start coming against that person, the messenger that was sent to you, then you start walking in deception. And any kind of deception can filter in and make it a deeper deception. That's right. Right. And a worse condition. That's right. Because that's what the Bible says. Right. Well, how do you get out of that? Well, the only way out of that is through repentance. That's right. That's right. The cross. True, godly, Amen. sorrowful right. repentance. And a turnaround, a change of mind, a turnaround. That's the only way out of it. Amen. That's right, man. Praise the Lord. Look what it says in verse 12. Lord, thou wilt ordain peace for us for thou hast wrought all our works in us or for us god's done the work O lord our god other lords beside thee have had dominion over us but by thee only will we make mention of thy name see what sharon was just talking about sometimes you 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 go into a place where you just kind of backsliding and you know and the Lord says, turn around. See, turn around. Look at verse 14. They are dead. They shall not live. They are deceased. They shall not rise. Therefore hast thou visited and destroyed them and made all their memory to perish. Lord, thou hast increased the nation, O Lord. Thou hast increased the nation. Thou art glorified. Thou hast removed it far unto all the ends of the earth. Lord, in trouble have they visited thee. They poured out a prayer when thy chastening was upon them, like as a woman with child that draweth near. The time of her delivery is in pain, and crieth out in her pain. So have we been in thy sight, O Lord. We have been with child. We have been in pain. We have, as it were, brought forth wind. We have not wrought any deliverance in the earth, neither have the inhabitants of the world fallen. And saints, that's talking about right there, like, 
Sometimes we intercede, we pray, we seek, we seek the Lord, and it's like nothing's happening, nothing's happening. And we're crying out to God, Lord, why isn't this moving? Why isn't this happening? Why isn't that person getting better? Why isn't my son or my daughter coming in? Lord, why? See, it seems like we feel like we haven't wrought any deliverance in the earth. See? And I think a lot of the remnant is at that point a lot because we, we just feel like, man, God, what are you doing, you know? I mean, we're not about signs and wonders, okay? We're about getting people right with God in, in true reality, hallelujah, in the spirit. That's what matters more than anything. It matters more than seeing a sign or seeing a wonder, hallelujah. Because can you walk with Jesus? Can we walk with Jesus without, without seeing a sign and wonder? Can we still love him? See, will we love him? Hallelujah. Without seeing any, any deliverance, will we still love him? Will we say yes, Lord, to the Lord? Well, he's got a purpose. Hallelujah. And sometimes he says no. That's right. Because right. it's not his will. That's right. Because the Lord knows the future. You know, it's just like, um, you know, my friend that her husband had beat her all those years. Mm -hmm. And she would prayed for him all those years mm -hmm. to get saved. Mm -hmm. And... One day he was beating her and the Lord literally took him and threw him up next to the wall and pinned him to the wall. Right. And he got saved right then right and there. On the spot. Repentance, Amen. you know. The next day he was working on the air, air conditioner. conditioner outside and his wife heard this thumping and she went out there and he had got electrocuted the next day right well god knew what the future would be with that guy right he knew if he was going to he, he would fall right you know that's right or kill his wife yeah or, or that's something right. that's right god knew so it was time mm -hmm. god knows the time praise the lord he has a purpose in everything and if he says no he's got a purpose in that as well that's right that's you know right. i was just reading a, a a post you know uh that i had put up and it's about faith but it's so important because <coughs> it's like God allows certain conditions certain things you know even sickness whatever and he he is looking for the inward thing right he wants an inward work in whatever he does inward and if that inward work is not done has not been done he's dealing with something in somebody's life and that inward work is not done yet then he leaves the condition until that inward work is done. So right. to me, it's so important that we cry out to God, Lord, you know, in any situation we're in, said, Lord, what is going on here? Is there something in my life? Is there something you're trying to put your finger on and I'm not seeing it? Or maybe I'm ignoring you or whatever. Make it so crystal clear to me, Father. Give me a checkup. And show me, Father, what it is. I want your way, Lord. Amen. To get to the bottom of this, yes. the root of this. Yes. And whatever it is, even though it may hurt me to see it. You know, sometimes in the Bible the Lord or in the Bible the Lord says, you know, there's many things I need to tell you, but hey, you are not ready, basically. Right. You're not ready for me to show it to you. Wow. I you want to be ready. You know, basically he says right. in there, Hey, you can't handle it. Right. So I haven't showed you yet. Right. So what Hallelujah. he does is he creates these circumstances to do that work, to do that molding. Right. And when he knows that you're ready to hear it, when you're brought to the point where you're ready to hear it and you're ready to see it, he'll let you. He'll let you. Amen. That's good. And to me, to hasten that is a crying out. To me, a crying out to God. To whatever you need to show me, Father, whatever it is, whatever's blocking this up, whatever's blocking up anything in my life, I right. want to see it. Right. Show me. Praise the Lord. That's good, boy. That's good. It says in verse 19, thy dead men shall live. Together with my dead body shall they arise. This is the resurrection. Awake and sing, ye that dwell in dust. For thy dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. This is the resurrection, saints. And then verse 20 and 21, the Lord says here, Come, my people, come, my people. Enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, 
until the indignation be over past. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Now, God is doing this. Saints, God wants us to cry out to him for a Holy Spirit checkup today. Mm -hmm. Amen. That, that's mm -hmm. good. God gave us mm -hmm. that today to say that. And God is calling you today, sir, ma'am, whoever you are, young or old, and you don't, you're not fully with the Lord or you're backslidden. God's calling you back into repentance and, and coming the way of the cross. Hallelujah. And walk in life. You know, it's Amen. amazing. I was listening to you read that. See the Lord give his people instruction there in that first verse you read. And then he's saying, come in, my people. My true people he's right. talking to. Right. Come in and shut the door. Right. Till the indignation is passed and then the next verse proceeds to the judgment speak of the judgment right. see so i mean the lord is he's a caring loving protective father okay let's talk about this a little bit it doesn't necessarily mean you go in your house and lock the door okay that's not what he's talking about he's talking about the intimacy yes of the walk with the lord which comes by denying ourselves taking up our cross and following him and, and spending more time with him. Hallelujah. Amen. But it, in the word and in prayer. But also. It can mean. It can. Yeah. Uh, the natural realm too. Cause because remember stay, that time when he had showed us. Um, when we were in Oklahoma. And he had us. He said I don't want you to go anywhere. We stayed there on the land for I forget how long. And the Lord said don't go anywhere. Right. You stay right here. You know. And, and he could tell you that. Right. That's just right. stay here and pray, seek me, me. and right. whatever. And, and he could very well say that. And in the meantime, if he said that to someone and told them to go here or there and, and don't go anywhere else, stay right there. Don't even go into town, nothing. Right. You better do what he said because he's got a purpose That's in right. that. That's right. And then wherever you were going to go, there could be destruction there. See what I mean? That's right. God will protect his people, and we have to listen to his promptings. Even those, it's important to hear him in our spirit, you know, those those impressions he gives. Those whispers. Those, yeah, yeah. And, and know that that's my father, right. and he loves me, and he's protecting me, and I better listen to him that's on right. this. That's right. Amen. And don't say, don't think you know better than God. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's right. So. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's pray, honey. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Go ahead, honey. Pray today. Thank Father, you, I Jesus. thank you for this broadcast today. Thank and you, Lord. I ask you, Lord, that you will draw all of us deeper. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Deeper into you today, Lord. Thank deeper you, Lord. into your word. Deeper into your presence, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Just give us more of a desire to read your word, more of a desire to be in your presence and worship you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Help us to put aside the things of this world and know that really the only important thing is you. Thank you, Jesus. Being with you and being right with you. Having a right relationship, a right connection with you, Lord. Yes, Lord. And I just pray for everybody listening to this. I pray, Lord, your Holy Spirit will just enter in and just pierce the hearts of all that Thank are listening. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Just stir those waters, Lord Jesus. If there needs to be conviction, Thank you, Lord. I pray you convict. Thank you, Lord. If there needs to be understanding, I pray Thank you give you, understanding. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I pray whatever is needed, I pray you give it today. Yes, Lord. Whatever is needed, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your faithfulness that you never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank the Lord today. Saints, God is so faithful to us, to all of his children throughout the earth today. Lord, we just bless you. Thank you. 
You can write us if you have prayer requests or questions about anything. the gospel. Anything. Any reason. Yeah, any reason at all. Praise the Lord. Write, Behold a new thing at yahoo.com. Behold a new thing at yahoo.com. And we just praise God for this outlet here. And we're just going to keep bringing forth the truth of his word as he lays it on us and gives it to us. We'll bring it forth. Amen. Amen. Be sure and check out the YouTube channel. and you'll, There's a lot of word on there, a lot of bread. There's links, and there's on, links these, on the these messages. These messages for the blogs. Yep. Um, on the right side of the blog, there's all of our two sites. or three other blogs, and there's MP3 sites. You can and download messages, and, and <laughs> it's really, really cool. Praise yeah, the Lord. God's giving it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay, praise the Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his holy face to shine upon you. The Lord our God lift up his holy countenance on you, grant you peace. And the Lord be gracious unto you in his name, authority, and character. Be in and upon your life today and forevermore. Walk in the fullness today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to the King.